Hi guys, Todd here. System check. Camera. Todd. Big coffee. Ginger nuts. Vaping gear. Am I awake? <laughs> no. Oh man. Half shot knife here. Anyway. What have we got? Right. The charity raffle has just closed last night at 12 o'clock, including gift aid. I think it was about £4,100 was raised for Scottish Scottish Association of Mental Health. Uh, all the funds will be going direct to the, the centre that is in Kirkcaldy, which is just up the road from me. Uh, it's a city, town, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the Langton, because uh, it's long. Anyway, um, thank you to everybody that donated. Um, thank you. I can't really say anything else. I'm just fucking well chuffed, really. Um, anyway, after I've done this video, uh, I'm going to go and do another video and I'll do the draw and uh, see who's won what. Okay? Is Karen wanting something? What is that? Dog. Come on, TJ. Good boy. <laughs> Did you get thrown out? You in the bad books as well? Eh? Eh? Oh, boy, oh you in the bad books. Oh, oh. We're in the bad books. We got sent to the shed. Uh, come here. Come on. Uh, no, my biscuits. Um, so, all the money is going to go direct to the centre, which is it's just fantastic. It's going to help so many people, uh, and the more awareness for mental health issues, the better, in my opinion. Um, it's don't live with it by yourself. Go and find some help. Uh, there's there's loads of places out there like Sam H in Scotland. There's these little what? That there's places all over the world that will help you. Uh, do not just rely on your GP, your doctor. Nothing against doctors, but do not just rely on your doctor. Phone people, talk to people, you know, just talk. Um, anyway, that's that. Uh, aside from that, so, uh, let's say a big box of envelopes arrived today as well, so we'll be getting everything packaged up. Um, what else have we got going on? Now, I have to make a review live for the Liana, 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 Hydra and Zorbis. Um, now, one thing I never made clear in the review that I've released, I've put a note in it. And I was quite... a few discussions with the mod maker. Now, what you'll get from the review when you watch it is that I love the device. I think it's absolutely pucker. Uh, but one of the issues is with the Zorbis is that it's the same as the last one. Okay, this one does 22 watts, but it doesn't have an adjustable 510 pin, which is a pain in the backside. I did say in the review you can get around that by using the, an air control ring that you can buy separately. What I didn't show in the review was how to adjust the air control ring. However, even with adjusting the air control ring, if you watch the video, uh, there are certain atomi atomizers out there that still will not sit flush. Things like the Kraken and the Magma. And these ones with really long 510 connectors, you're still stuffed. Uh, but I put a note up saying that it's not all atomizers, it's just ones with really long 510 connectors. So thank you to the guys at El Cigart for getting in touch. And also to say that today they also sent on adapters. Now this is a just GG and slap bang in the middle there. You stop scratching my arm. It's sore. Uh, it's, it's a just GG or a GGTS adapter to Zorbis adapter. So that's that's my just GG with uh, the Zorbis on it. See the light there. Running at 10 watts just now with uh, this thing on top.
which isn't working. Fuck, what happened here? Well, there it goes. It's lovely. Uh, so, thank you to the Elsig Art guys and, and Martin Fink if you watch this. Thanks, buddy. Um, so speaking of other reviewers, uh, Damien and Big Tom, pair of assholes. <laughs> Only kidding. Great guys. Uh, I sent them down the red rod. I've just watched the review. It was nice to see them uh, playing with my red rod and uh, saying it was small in the hand. Uh, thanks, guys. Um, Tom, lazy bastard. Uh, can't believe I sent it to him. Everything will be sent to Damien from now on because he knows what he's talking about. Um, kidding. The good lads, the pair of them, good lads. Uh, what else? I need to wake up here. Got more great coffee. Uh, how wrong is it that Grim Green drinks? I, I love watching Grim Green's blogs, by the way. Uh, I love Grim Green. Full stop. Love watching his reviews. Uh, when he does his blog and he does his beer thing, somebody somewhere send him a dimpled pint glass. You'll know the guy who goes to pubs, I don't even know if they still do them, but you know, like a proper beer mug, dimpled glass that you used to see back in the 80s and that. Um, it's just wrong watching a guy drinking beer out of a champagne glass and stuff like that, or, or whatever it is. It just What's wrong? Nick, get it sorted. Um, I, I, I'm just having the coffee. Um, nom nom um, Right. This thing on top of the Just GG here. This is the Exporizer. I think it's Exporizer, I think it's called. Uh, I bought it from a German company. I saw it talked about in UK Vapours. Um, now, if you come across where to find this and so on, you're just fucking at it, will you? Just behave, okay? Come on. Right. Uh, this is like a mix of a, a K-Fun, a T-Fun and a, a, a Dream Rebuildable Atomizer. Right. Put that away then. Um, it's dirt cheap, but they, they are having, I think they're having a few problems with it. Uh, the top cap, the drip tip is a bit loose, uh, so they've got a prototype drip tip coming and they're going to send that on to me. So I'll be reviewing it next week at some point. Um, and, you know, I'll give out all the other details during the review. What I will say is that the uh, that's my biscuits. Don't eat my bit. Stay off my biscuits. My biscuits. What uh, I will say is that it is an amazing vape. Um, it really is. I I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, so, right, here. right. Here's your basket. Here's the heater. Your basket. I am the master of my dog. <laughs> um, so, the Exporizer, I think it's called. Um, I, can't, I can't remember now. Uh, but that's quality. Um, what else have I got? Oh, ifancyone.com. Ash and, oh God, his partner in crime. There's two of them, uh, and another one, the, the clever one, sent me an email, and I can't remember his name now. Peter? Paul? Oh, uh, anyway, uh, they sent me on uh, a couple of these. EFEST 35 amp, 2000 milliamp hour EFEST batteries, 18650s. Uh, bloody good. Dirt cheap. Dirt cheap. Uh, so I, I'm not a big 18650 fan, but I have been using these and thoroughly enjoying it. Um, this review will be coming soon. I am slowly but surely falling in love with this setup. It's wrong on so many levels. 
but I just love it. I just kind of wish Pinoy guys would get their feckin' quality control sorted out. Um, it's really annoying. Um, I've got three devices in there. Uh, Philippines and quality control ship. So uh, they're, they're just not getting reviewed just now until they sort their stuff out. Anyway, that's a minor rant. What I do have here, um, and I forgot to bring a mod out with me. Oh no, I didn't. I've got mods here. What am I talking about? Um, well, let's work on here. I'll put this on my little pass through just now. Hopefully it'll work. Nah. Nah. Not working. Uh, this is the Aga T4. I think. Uh, Aga T I'm sure it's the Aga T4. Uh, I, need an, I need a battery. Now, this Aga T4, uh, uh, Kirsty and Keith at the uh, Vape Gear. Don't I jam my fucking arm? Ow! That's sore. Um, so, sorry, Kirsty and Keith uh, sent this on to me and I'm going to review it, we're going to fall out big style uh, and I've set it up, I've been vaping with it but basically it's a dual coil you're not winning, it's a dual coil uh, rebuildable atomizer and it is bloody strange I, I'm Come on you, thread out. There we go. Ah, what the fuck's going on in here? Oh, I see now I've broken this. This has worked perfectly for, since the day I got it and now, because I'm being a dick. I'm not editing this, I refuse to edit this out. There we go. I've obviously been twisting the button too much and I've popped the, the Delrin out. Um, let's see, just me being a dick. Knob in a shed. There we go. Uh, I need a drip tip. That'll do. So there it is, there's the Aga T4. Now, uh, four air holes round the base of the tank and it goes up into, through the centre post and comes out two air holes which blow onto, or the air goes over the dual coils, so it's a dual wick setup. Now, I'll show you this, it's really strange. This is built really well. I mean, I, I like the build on it. There's a fair old chunk of, you know, vapour coming off of that. Uh, and it smells stunning. But the really strange thing is, when you go to vape on it, it's like... Meh. Try not, uh, I'm going to try doing a slow draw. Nothing. A really, really harsh ho throat hit in that. Um, if I do a direct lung inhale. something going on with that, that's just shit. It is that on paper this thing should work so well that it's working really poorly. I just don't get it. I really do not get it at all. No, I don't. Excuse me. Um, so the Aga T4 I've not done the review yet because I'm not writing it off. Um, I'm still trying different builds in it, blocking air holes off. You know when I 
I vape with it, try holding two of the air holes to reduce the airflow. And it does get a bit better. Uh, so that's coming. Um, fucking hell, that was a lot of talking for not a lot. Um, what else? Right, back to something really nice and simple. This. This is like a, an Eagle Twist type device. And this is a Duda tank. Um, a guy called Mark got in touch with me. What he's doing is he's made a kit. But in that kit, he's, this, a tank comes with it. He's taken the head out and he's rebuilt it. It's 1.4 ohms coil. He's used non-resistance wire, resistance wire setups, micro coil with cotton. And he supplies a spare one with a kit. Now the kit comes out, it may be two tanks and two heads and one battery. And uh, e-liquid as well, RY4 and menthol. Now, this vapes Oh, so well, I mean really well, is it includes some cotton in the kit as well so that people can, you know, replace the cotton in the heads. It's a, a bloody great idea and for a starter kit, it's the best vape I've ever had from a starter kit, ever. In fact, it's a... It's on par with a lot of top-end gear uh, at is the vape that comes off of this. I mean, I'm vaping it... Uh, well, what am I vaping at? I'll put it up to 4.1 volts. It's just excellent. I can't... I'm, I'm really... I've been vaping away with this quite a lot and uh, thoroughly enjoying it. And I'm looking forward to the review. By God, that fire's hot. Uh, right, last but not least, uh, we have... Remember the 134, the Gatlin gun? Um, what battery have I got in here? Pop this in. Well, Anakin have come up with the Mini 134, which is pretty smart. Now, it comes with uh, an 18500 and an 18350 tube. It's a lot smaller in diameter than the, its big brother, the Gatling gun. I shouldn't call it the Gatling gun. Uh, in diameter, it's 24 millimeter. Uh, this is the the iClear XI that's on top of it. That comes in the kit as well. Let's switch it on. Which, to be honest, I'm not. Yeah, it's, to be honest, it's just another. Thing doesn't give that great a vape to be honest. It's the same juice that is in this. Okay. Uh, this I'm going to crank this up. This is at 11 watts. This is at 4.1 volts with a 1.4 uh, resistance atomizer on it, so what will we do? Six seconds. Do six seconds in this. That tastes bloody great, and that tastes like shit. Um, it's nothing wrong with the device, uh, apart from this. Don't know if you'll hear it. You hear the buzzing. You get like a a second of buzzing before it starts firing. It's the only thing I don't like about it. You should hear it buzzing when you put something like a one point one ohm coil on it. <laughs> uh, crazy. Anyway, that that's everything. Um, that 
I've got coming up. I'm waiting another stuff arriving as usual. Um, I've got uh, Fusion Mods sent me on a 20 by one hybrid adapter kit. I have got the Tarsus Customs uh, tanks. They are here. Oh, that's a nano. Uh, it is it. Oh, I'm done with it. Oh, there it is. There's the the big kit. So that's a quartz tank. So I've got that and the mini tank to review, uh, which I'll get to quickly. And uh, what else is sitting in there? Uh, I spent most of yesterday doing a review on the Damascus Steel mod and the Venice mod by Pipple Mods and uh, edited them all, spent most of the day, I mean an entire day on two mods, editing, recording and, and all the rest of it and uh, I managed to delete them. Don't ask me how. That's why I can't get a job in IT just now because I'm fucking useless. Um, sorry for the language there. Um, and that's it. Uh, I want to say hi to the other e-cig reviewer that threw his toys out the pram because I wouldn't tell him how much a mod cost that I had reviewed. He couldn't be asked watching the video, he just wanted to ask me instead. You lazy son of a gun. Yeah, imagine that. Anyway, that's that just what to say hi to him. I won't mention his name, twat. Um Oh uh, Cracking me kit. I think this was one ninety nine posted or something like that. I just can't get in the bloody thing, that's the only problem. Maybe I should give it to TJ. You'll get in it, no problem. Uh, look at that. Tweezers, uh, little screwdriver, all your heads, hex heads, the lot. One ninety nine, and it just works a treat. Uh, so, I got that off Amazon. It's uh, Jackley. J-A-C-K-L-Y. Jackley tool set, or screwdriver set, whatever you want to call it. Um, but, uh, now really good, one ninety nine. I'm sure it was Jim, Jim, me old mucker, Jim532, uh, he posted that up. Um, what else? Went for an interview this week guys, all those people that wished me luck, I didn't get it. Uh, I was a bit gutted about that, but uh, I've got a few other interviews in the pipeline, so fingers crossed. Um, <laughs> it's quite funny. <laughs> Did this interview the whole way through it and uh, I thought it was doing so well after an hour and uh, in the last five minutes the guy asked me a question. He just blew me out the water, torpedoed me, never saw it, blindsided me, blindsided me and I just sat there and did my guppy impersonation going doing that and I thought you sneaky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> he found me out <laughs> so uh, <laughs> it's quite funny looking back at it but anyway I didn't get that job um, and that's it um uh, um, uh, uh, um um nah that is it guys I'm away I don't know how long I've been talking for too long probably uh, thank you to my little fa my little pal down there for scratching the shit out of my arm as always and thank you to you guys for all your donations for the charity raffle you rock. We'll catch you soon. Cheers, guys. Bye.